Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video we're looking at another dropship and this one is called the P-50 transport vessel which is this thing right here. So it's a very small, very light on box, vanilla only dropship for you to drive around and use it to transport yourself or goods from one place to another. But pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, there it is. This lovely transport ship is 434 large blocks. It uses no mods and no DLC packs. And as you can see there, it's inspired by the Dead Space 3's CMS Crozier, or however you say that word. So starting at the very front here, we've got a lovely little bridge. It's not too big, but it's just good enough for you to view outside and make sure you're not going to crash into anything. For our seats, we are once again using our large control seats, which I didn't know existed until yesterday. We got two of them there to fly the ship and to control everything, and one more to carry an extra person. We come back to the front, we've got some lovely block work in the standard vanilla skin, and then moving around the side, we've got ourselves a ion thruster. Ion and hydrogen are the thrusters that appear on this ship, and you will be able to toggle between them thanks to a timer block. The ion thruster has been encased with the standard catwalks, and as we move around the side onto this white part here, we've got a doorway that leads inside. Now we do have a few scripts that are active on this ship, such as the auto door and airlock script, so you never have to worry about losing all your oxygen thanks to some bonker opening up the doors all the time. Continuing along, we've got our hydrogen tanks, which is going to store all our hydrogen for our thrusters, and they are just clipping through those catwalks right there so you can see the green bars with how much they contain. Just above that, we've got some more ion thrusters, then as we move around to the very back, past all these catwalks, past these black and white blocks, we come to our main thrust, which is in the form of eight hydrogen thrusters and six ion thrusters. By default, you won't have both of these active at the same time. They will come with a little toggle switch, which allows you to flip between them. If you find that the speed or the control isn't up to your standards, you can always just go into the options and flip them all on at the same time, but the way it's been set up is to save hydrogen once you're in space. As for that, we can start coming around the top of the ship where we see some more nice block work, very nice basic block work, nothing too fancy there that's going to cripple performance or eat up your PCU limit. And then coming all the way down and underneath the ship, there's not too much to talk about. There's just some more ion thrusters in there and some more hydrogen thrusters. So now it's time for me to take control of my character and we can go inside. There's not too much to talk about on this ship. I simply do love playing around with drop ships. So opening up this door, we get our airlock where that will automatically close up after a certain amount of time. And then we can open up this door once it lets us. And we can close that up and we're all good. And this is our interior. We've got a timer block there. We've got another door which takes us to the opposite side. Our gyroscope, our reactor to easily put uranium in. And we've got some more little cargo access right here. So as for our cargo access, this is where we're going to mainly put our ice for our hydrogen tanks and our O2H2 generators to process. On this side over here, we've got an air vent to make sure we don't suffocate. And over here, we've got a programmable block with the auto door and airlock script. Coming towards the front, we got our control seats. This one, like I said, has nothing going on. And then our two seats at the back, whoop, let me just come over there, have the exact same thing. And that is basically it for the interior. It's a very small one, and you can, if you want to, decorate it using some of the DLC packs. If I was to bring over some of these things, we can then bring in some cornered chairs, or even in this case, these standard chairs. So let's have one there. And you can have one from that programmable block. Maybe even put a planter over there. And around there, I don't think there's too much to go without removing any light. But there we go. You can have some fancy chairs in there to carry some more people. But now it's time for me to get into the cockpit and we can give it a little play around. So we start at number four, which is for our gyroscopes. So we can turn that on and off if you wanted to. Number five is to automatically close the doors. Make sure they are all properly closed before someone tries to attempt to open them. Number six is for the lights on the inside. Number seven is for our batteries on and off. And number eight is for our reactor on and off. Number nine is for our special taking off measure. So if I just make sure the hydrogen thrusters are currently turned on, then flip over to here. If I was to press number nine, we then flip that on, the hydrogen would turn off and now we get ion thrusters. So beams were on the moon, 
we don't need to have those hydrogen thrusters, we can simply rely on the ion and fly around. But like I said, there are some situations like now where it is a little bit lackluster in control, so you can always put a manual button down to have the hydrogen as well as the ion. And that is pretty much it. The only other thing I can think of is flipping that on, so if we were on a planet atmosphere, we can just save that little bit of power by switching to the hydrogen and turning off the ion. Very nice little switch to have. Yes, that is it for the P-50 transport vessel. It's a lovely little ship to play around with. There's not too much else to talk about. It's simply a nice small design, and that is a outpost over there. I was wondering what was going on. I was like, is that like an ice ice orb over there just reflecting everything but no it's an outpost yes the p50 transport vessel will be in the description below if you want to play around with it yourself you can always take it and try decorating it yourself or look at the design and make something similar to it depending on what you want to do but as for that that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll be back with another showcase video some point soon bye bye